The infiltration and subsequent subtype specification of monocytes to inflammatory and repair macrophages is indispensable for tissue repair upon acute sterile injury. Monocyte-derived macrophages are consistently detectable in injured muscles and are involved in all phases of muscle regeneration, such as confining the damage, clearing the necrotic debris via phagocytosis, and contributing to repair. It is likely that the microenvironment and intercellular interactions are driving the phenotype switch from inflammatory to repair macrophages. However, these dynamic changes in cellular phenotype must also be driven by transcription factors, which bind to regulatory elements and support cell type-specific gene expression. In this study, we used a murine acute muscle injury model to assess global chromatin accessibility and gene expression dynamics in infiltrating macrophages during sterile physiological inflammation and tissue regeneration. We identified a heme-binding transcriptional repressor, BAC1, as a novel regulator of macrophage cell type specification. BAC1 knockout mice displayed impaired muscle regeneration, altered dynamics of the macrophage phenotype transition, and transcriptional deregulation of key inflammatory and repair-related genes. Furthermore, inactivation of heme oxygenase 1, one of its most stringently deregulated genes in macrophages, impairs muscle regeneration by changing the dynamics of the macrophage phenotype switch. BAC1 forms heterodimers with small MAF proteins and binds to the MAF recognition element to act as transcriptional repressor. In addition, BAC1 possesses a heme binding region and thus can be directly bound by free heme that is released by many hemoproteins such as hemoglobin and myoglobin. Based on these findings, we propose a model in which free heme released from myoglobin in damaged myocytes is taken up from macrophages, binds and destabilizes BAC1, thus inhibiting its DNA binding capacity, and subsequently BAC1 is exported from nucleus and degraded in the proteasome. At the same time, activators competing for the same MAF recognition elements heterodimerize with the small MAF proteins and activate BAC1 target genes, such as heme oxygenase 1. Taken together, our results suggest the existence of a heme BAC1 heme oxygenase 1 regulatory access that controls the phenotype and function of the infiltrating myeloid cells upon tissue damage.